Democratic Congressman Jamie Raskin, who was on the January 6th committee. So you get the idea of a little background on who this guy is and whether or not he's credible. He parroted the exact same line that Joe Biden told us. What makes you a fascist? This is what he answered. Issue. So let's review what the former president said this week earlier. He said the 2020 election should be rerun or he should be reinstated in office and that if reelected in 2024, he would provide apologies and full pardons to those charged and or convicted for storming the Capitol on January 6th. Evaluate that. Well, first, if he's saying that the election should be rerun, which is something he's been asserting from the beginning, that's totally outside of the Constitution. There's no procedure for the military just to seize the election machinery and run a new election, which is one of the things that his disgraced former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn was pushing and we know was part of the January 6th plot. Um, and uh, look, more than 60 courts rejected every claim of electoral fraud and corruption, which Donald Trump advanced. Um, he's had the benefit of more than 60 courts, including eight courts where he appointed the judges to office, look at all those claims, and they were all rejected. Uh, it was rejected in the states, and he lost the election. Two of the hallmarks of a fascist political party are, one, they don't accept the results of uh, elections that don't go their way, and two, they embrace political violence. And I think that's why President Biden was right to sound the alarm this week about these continuing attacks on our constitutional order from the outside by Donald Trump and his movement. Okay, so he's a pretty smooth political talker because what he does, what Jamie Raskin does rhetorically, is he pretends that one thing is the same as another thing when the two things are not actually comparable. So when Jamie Raskin says, well, you can't overturn the outcome of an election, that's not true. We have precedent in our country of the outcome of an election being overturned, of an election being redone because there was fraud that invalidated the results of that first election. The example here, and Democrats might find it pretty ironic here, but an example here is in North Carolina, there was a congressional election that was very recently, within the last five years, overturned because a Republican candidate for office engaged in illegal ballot harvesting. That's against the law. Why is it against the law? because it's very vulnerable to voter fraud. There was evidence in this case that the Republican candidate for Congress had not only engaged in this illegal act of ballot harvesting, which is collecting ballots of other people and dropping those ballots off at the polling place, but that the count or the tally of the votes that he had illegally collected and dropped off favored him to such an enormous proportion that it seemed very unlikely that he or someone around him hadn't tampered with those votes. The result of that election, that Republican initially won after cheating. But what happened is a court overturned that election because it was an invalid result of the election because there was cheating. So Jamie Raskin likes to pretend that one thing is another. He does this again when he gives a false choice about the courts. He says 60 courts rejected claims from the Trump orb about election integrity or a lack of election integrity. What he doesn't mention is yes, 60 courts did reject lawsuits related to the election because of terrible lawyers, because of arguments that weren't yet coherent, because we didn't know initially exactly how the Democrats had rigged the 2020 election. So yes, it's true that courts rejected it, but that's not the same as saying a court meticulously combed through everything that we know now about what happened in 2020 and found with the full breadth of evidence and no bias that there was no problems with election integrity in 2020. Those are not the same thing at all. And Jamie Raskin knows this, right? He's a smooth political operator. He knows exactly what he's doing. But what he's hoping is that you and I won't see the difference between between two things that are not the same that he pretends are the same. 